Hey, so a lot of people have been asking me about how I do the art in the game, so I want to show you a little bit of the process. Today we're going to be looking at those monster drops you see monsters dropping all the time. And to make it a bit more interesting, we'll focus on some of the upcoming World 5 monsters that aren't even in the game yet. I'll start with this little wormy crawly creature found toward the end of World 5. For this guy, it made sense based on his appearance to have him drop slabs of meat, which I've actually drawn in the past. This involves drawing a 3D flat oval looking shape with a little white bone in the middle. The key part is to differentiate between the meat inside, which I've drawn in green, and the skin outside, which is that light brown pattern. I also added some texture to the meat based off of a simple reference image, and drew another slab to make the piece more interesting. Finally, I copy pasted the upright slab to bring us to this final image. Next, let's do the stilt mole. This one's a bit more simple, I'm just drawing one of his stilts at an angle. I chose an angle where it's like you're looking at the stilt from the top down, so even though the bottom part of the stilt is way longer, it appears shorter and smaller due to our perspective. I also added in some wood details, which are basically vertical lines, and I shaded everything accordingly, giving us this final image. Now I'm going to do the grilled cheese monster drop. I didn't want him to just drop bread or cheese. That would seem too much like a consumable item rather than a monster drop. So I settled on doing the remnants of an actual grilled cheese, but on a plate to make it more interesting. Not much to say about this one. It's just an oval and a square with a few small circle crumbs. But that's our final image. Now here I have one of my favorite World 5 monsters, the Molten Miner Mole. At first I thought maybe he could drop lava when he dies, since he does fall over. So I felt it'd be more emblematic for him to drop his hat. This process was a bit different than the other ones so far, as I took the hat I already drew for him earlier and upscaled it. By upscale, I mean I literally just increased the size of his hat and then drew in the enhanced details since, you know, you can't like enhance an image. I then found a reference image of an actual hard hat just to get the light bulb looking good, and boom, there's our final image. Now here's two of them I actually did on stream. We have a magma slug, which will be the first monster of the world, as well as this cheese cracker, who will not be the first monster of the world. But the slug, I figured ashes would make sense since he dies by having water thrown onto him. Ashes alone would be a bit basic, so I also drew a burial urn to go with it and have the ashes kind of pouring out. After a quick check at a reference image for what an urn actually looks like, since I've yet to be cremated myself and I'm not quite familiar with its shape, I had a nice final image ready to be dropped by slugs worldwide. As for the cracker, Twitch Chad and I both agreed a pile of crumbs would probably make sense. At first, I drew the details a bit too large, which resulted in it looking kind of like a pile of rocks and not crumbs, so I redid things but smaller to make it look really crummy. Then I added shading to the cheese, giving us this final image, and I ended the drawing stream feeling good. So after a few hours of drawing, here's six new items that will be added to Eidolon's World 5. Yep, that's, uh, that's it. The rest of the video is just like end credits, so you can click off now. Hamter. Hamter will make an appearance as a 1 in 50,000 rare drop from stilt moles.